okay, 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 okay. <sighs> I'm back. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. First of all, sorry for the lack of videos last week. My schedule was all over the place and I had to play catch up on a lot of things. But back to it and boy oh boy is there a lot of odd things happening in the game right now. So, first of all, let's talk about the first thing you've probably noticed, and I know a lot of you have noticed it because you've been tweeting me constantly! Thanks. But it seems my previous video talking about a strange new building being teased in the Sea of Thieves music video is finally showing some hints to it being built. The building in the tees appear to be a shipwright-like structure on the opposite dock with a harpoon above it. And looking at the construction material in this new build site, it appears harpoons is definitely going to be a part of its construction. Now I have noticed a lot of people suggest that this could be a new easy way to offload your loot onto an outpost, and although that sounds like an awesome idea, I very much doubt, or should I say, I hope, it's not something as lackluster as that. I mean, think about it. Why would the developers add an easier way to offload loot from your ship, and then stick this loot grabber even further away from the trading companies on every single outpost? It's one of those things where it sounds like a good idea on paper, but in practice it's completely pointless and no one will ever take part in it. That said though, it wouldn't be the first time... But no, I have high hopes for whatever this is. I think it's going to be something far more enjoyable than a pulley loot system. The reason I say this is on some outpost maps when you bury treasure there or activate an ashen chest quest, there are strange structures seen on the map that indeed look very much ship-shaped and look very reminiscent of a dry dock. Hmm... Why would we need a dry dock for our ships? For people who don't know what a dry dock is, it's, it's, a, it's a dock that's got no water in it, and that's where they fix ships, and that's why it's called a dry dock. It's just because there's no, there's no water, so it's, it's dry. It's, uh, lore. Leading on from this, another little tease has been noticed by several players. Sometimes in what feels like totally random circumstances, people have seen ship nameplates appearing on the back of vessels. This scene here, taken from the popular streamer Beardageddon, shows a nameplate hanging from the back of a sloop. But they have also been spotted on the Brigantine and the Galleon but only from a far distance away. When getting close, they merely disappear. So we have a strange new building, something that appears to be a dry dock, and now nameplates being seen on the back of every ship type. Could this possibly be hinting toward the much-anticipated Captaincy update? At the very least, it is certainly hinting toward further ship customization, and possibly even the ability to name your ship, something the community has wanted for a long time. Personally, I think it's just going to be number plates so you can report Reaper Runners to the Care Bear Police. Speaking of things people want, it's promo time! Thinking about getting yourself an utterly awesome beast of a PC that can handle high FPS gaming whilst looking like a chad? Then swing over to the Apex Gaming PC's website and take a look at what they can offer you. I have a range of my own bespoke PCs on there that you can customize to your liking. Each offer high FPS HD gaming, which is perfect for anyone who is totally confused about joining the Master Race and upgrading from the consoles. Use code FALCOR for big savings on checkout. All links are down below. But anyway, continuing on from our discussion about strange disappearing ship nameplates, they're not the only strange thing to have been seen and then, well, not not seen. On the horizon in this update, strange lights have been spotted near Arena Tavern floating above the ocean's surface. But when you get close, they seemingly disappear and phase out of existence. With something like this cropping up, most people would say they're just stories. But we know different. Something is being planned here, and the developers obviously forgot to turn off the light switch quite 
literally. A new island? A new adventure location? We'll just have to wait and see. But with the last adventure hinting towards having to find something in the Pale Beast, I think it's pretty obvious we're going to have to go rooting around in the Pirate Lord's belly at some point in the future. And with this location being very close to the underwater real world location of the Pirate Tavern, I think it's pretty obvious we're going to have to swim down there and give him a red belly until he poops out the Veil of Ancients. I mean, think about it. Look at this scene. Where did he pull the veil from exactly? Lore!